Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be encapsulating a real scorpion. <laughs> Say what? Yes, you heard that right. A real freaking scorpion. Ah! I can't believe this. Okay, so a follower of mine who is also a bug collector sent me this scorpion along with some real butterfly wings and you'll see those in a future video or videos. I really contemplated using this and it legit sat in one of my nail drawers for months. I was so afraid to use it, I didn't know how I, I was going to use it. So I finally got the courage to use it and I finally settled on a nail design. So here it is. I've already glued on long stiletto tips. Of course, I can never do short nails. To me, short nails are so boring. I love long nails. I can do more art on them. Just love doing long nails. So I've already glued those on and now I'm just gonna elongate my nail bed area with my own Cover Pink powder. If you're interested in seeing how I made that powder, I'll link that video in the description box below. Check it out if you want. So I'm just, I always start with the first bead quite a bit lower than where my natural nail bed is. And then I just add more beads to fill in that area. And yeah, that's how I do my nail bed area. Before I apply any glitter or anything to the nail tip, I have to clean up the nail bed area, the shape of it. So I just go in with a fairly coarse nail file and I just file around the smile line to make it really sharp and crisp. On my middle nail, I'm just applying plain black acrylic to the tip of my middle nail because I'll be using some color shifting powder on top. And as most of you know, color shifting powder looks best on black. So just applying black to the tip. On my thumb, index, and pinky nail, I'm just applying a fine turquoise glitter mixed with clear acrylic. And I'm just applying a very thin layer. I'm not applying it too thick because it doesn't need to be too opaque because I am going to be applying a chunky glitter mix on top. And I just like using a, a very fine glitter, kind of the same color as the chunky mix, as a base so that it prevents any gaps in the acrylic. Now I'm applying that chunky glitter mix on top and this really isn't one that you can just buy. I just mixed together some of Glitter Heaven Australia's um, Chunky Holo Collection and I used their um, Holographic Gold, Holographic Navy I believe is what it's called and their Holographic Turquoise Chunky Glitter together. It's a nice dark blue, a turquoise and a gold and I thought this would it just looks great with this nail set because I don't know why but whenever I think of like insects and things I always gravitate towards like blue green colors I don't know why but I just chose to mix those colors together and I'm really happy with how it turned out
Now on to the long-awaited scorpion nail. Are you guys even excited to see this? Is it gross? Is it disgusting? Is it awesome? Is it cool? Let me know. Anyway, before I put on the uh, scorpion, I'm just applying a thin layer of clear acrylic, especially to my nail bed area. And actually I'm doing all of the tips so it's nice and even. And I'm doing this so that I can possibly reuse these nails in the future. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm just applying a thin layer of clear acrylic, just applying a thin layer. And I did go back in and thin this down because I don't want this to be too thick. And in the end, the nail ends up really thick because the scorpion isn't the smallest scorpion ever. It's not a little baby scorpion. It's a ju I believe it's like a juvenile scorpion. So it's not a baby. It's not a full grown adult. I don't think I'm not, you know, a bug expert or anything, but it's a little bit on the small to medium side so the nail ended up quite thick and I knew it would so that's why I'm applying a thin layer of acrylic and I also file down this acrylic even more because I want the layer to be super super thin because I've got to put this scorpion on top and I completely encapsulate that in acrylic so I knew it would end up thick so I'm keeping this nice and thin. I'm not ready to use a scorpion just yet. I'm saving that little guy for last. I want to get all the other nails completely done. So um, I just applied some no wipe gel top coat to just the black tip and cured that. And I also applied a little bit of latex so that the color shifting powder wouldn't get all over my nail bed area. And then I'm just going in with the What's Up Nails Ocean and their Rainforest powder. And I'm applying blue to just the center of the tip and then I'm applying the green to both sides to give more of a color shifting effect. I wanted to sort of mimic the um, the design or pattern that the scorpion body has. It's sort of like a, a rectangle shape going down the length of the body. So I wanted to sort of mimic that on my middle nail. So I'm going in with black gel polish and a very thin brush. And I'm just, you can't really see, but I'm just applying a short straight lines across my nail. And then I'll be connecting those lines with little V-shaped shapes <laughs> um, on either side of the lines that I'm making now, just to sort of connect them and everything.
So I just cut a small piece of the gold foil. I believe I got this gold foil from Walmart, so I'm not completely sure, but came in a pack of like five big sheets. So I've got tons of gold foil, but anyway, just cut out a small piece and I'm placing the gold foil on top of the foil adhesive and I'm quickly pulling it away. And as you see, a beautiful gold foil is left behind. Here I'm just applying the no wipe top coat that I used before and I'm just doing this to seal in the gold foil and I'm also using it to seal in the color shifting powder because I didn't apply top coat on the color shifting powder before I started doing the, the black gel and gold foil. So I'm just applying a thin layer of this and curing it in my UV lamp for two minutes. And now the time has come to encapsulate the little scorpion. So this is the vial that it comes in and I'm just removing it from his little home and I'm putting it on a, a paper towel just to um, absorb the excess um, alcohol because that's what it's in. It's an alcohol. To get him to stay in place, you could use acrylic, but I think that would just be too much. I want to keep this nail as thin as possible, so I'm just applying a cheap nail glue to about three quarters of my nail, and then I'm putting him on top and pressing him into place, and I'll also be using more nail glue later on to sort of fix his legs and his tail and get them to stay in place and everything. So here are a few close-ups. Um, I could not show you this little guy close-up. He's so freaky looking. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm doing this, but yeah. Now I'm going to be honest with you, this part of the entire nail design caused me so much freaking anxiety. Encapsulating the scorpion, I was so afraid that I would get a lot of air bubbles or it wouldn't be very clear after everything was done, after I filed everything. Oh my god, I was, I had so much anxiety because I put so much work into this nail design and I want it to be just right. So, but in the end, you know, the nail is super clear. I really shouldn't have been so worried. I mean, come on, it's NSI Attraction, the clearest acrylic out there in my opinion. So I'm just going in with acrylic and I'm encapsulating his body first, the thickest part of him. And I'm also encapsulating his little legs as well. And then I'm just, I just keep applying acrylic all the way down my nail, then encapsulating the top where his, um, I don't know what those are called. His pinchers? I don't know. So I'm just trying to keep the acrylic as thin as possible. I don't want to, I didn't want to make the acrylic too thick because that just means I have to file it even more. So I'm just keeping the acrylic as thin as possible, but I'm ensuring that I am, in, that I'm completely encapsulating him because if I'm not encapsulating him well enough, when I go to file, I'll actually start filing into him. So After the acrylic is completely dried, I'm this time I'm actually going in with a nail drill. Usually I don't need to use a nail drill when I'm using the NSA Attraction because it's self-leveling, it's super clear, there's really no need to use it. But I felt like I did have to use it on him to file down the acrylic and I didn't go in too rough with a nail drill. I used kind of a light hand and then I also went in with a regular hand file and then a nail buffer to smooth everything out, to shape the sides and everything. And after that's all said and done, I'm applying a gel top coat and oh my gosh, when I apply gel top coat, these nails are gorgeous, especially the Scorpion nail because you can really see all the detail in him and everything. And 
And here's the final look of these real encapsulated scorpion nails. Oh my god, I still can't believe I did them. So happy with how they turned out. I don't think I could have done them much better than this. I love the blue, the gold, and the turquoise. Love the color shifting powder and I love that little guy. 